Hello out there. This is Mr. Corcoran with a five minute video on our week three. This is week, uh, week three's uh, rep sheet. Uh, review, extend, and practice. That's what rep stands for. And this week for reading something that's new is the students have a, um, a copy of Dear Mr. Henshaw and uh, we are reading this and I have these um, chapters I have them uh, loaded onto our YouTube let's see there we go so are you um, all of the stories all of that sorry the chapters from pages 1 from 1 to 78 are already uh, uploaded and so students can read uh, by themselves uh, and this is in so this story is in um, a letter form, so it's from a boy, Lee, Lee Botts, and he writes uh, letters to his favorite author, dear Mr. Henshaw. And Mr. Henshaw has a has a has a book all about ways to amuse a dog. Uh, so I thought it was interesting that we're a very dog dog friendly classroom, um, and so is this is the main character in this book. So uh, students, read this at your own pace. Uh, you may also. Because what we're doing is, what we're doing is, uh, we are uh, creating. Uh, we're going to create a compar comparison and contrast um, uh, chart. We're going to discuss how Alvin Ho is both similar to and different from uh, this character. And what our one of our colleagues did was they um, they cut out and handed out these QR codes, which will take you directly uh, to. This will take you. Thank you very much. Yep. These will take you directly to the Alvin Ho video playlist and the Dear Mr. Henshaw video playlist, uh, as you wish. Uh, so, oh, so there aren't uh, student copies of this, but again, these these chapters are accessible here. So that's what students are doing for reading. Uh, students, you can uh, count the Dear Mr. Henshaw. You can count that towards your reading log minutes because you're you know you're reading along with with a, a reader, which is which is me. Uh, so that counts here. Um, and what else? Oh, so the goal again this week is also 80 minutes um, minimum. So if you can read more outstanding. Uh, so that's it for reading. Now for writing, for writing, I didn't put anything on our uh, on our um, rep sheet here, but it's the same as last week. Uh, the thing that's new is we have these. Uh, uh, nifty writing. I called it to home, to school, and back again. And we have this little uh, prompt here where we talked about uh, puzzling six puzzling emotions. The main six being happiness, surprise, disgust, sad or sadness, fear, and anger. And then we're going to do we're going to work this into a uh, puzzling emotions activity um, similar to that. So that is, oh, the other two topics provided at this week is uh, any kind of school story, because we're reading, you know, our mentor text for reading are two stories that take place at school. So if you have a story that can take place at school, uh, that you could do that in here. Just outline it in blue. So write your, your uh, story about something that happened in school, um, anything at all. Uh, realistic fiction, though and then outline it in a second color of your choice. I would do blue. And then third, uh, anything. You know, this could be fantasy, this could be uh, something about robots or living inside of a video game, whatever. Our, our goal for the week, for week three, is 40 minutes of writing. And then students just keep writing in here, uh, back to back if you can. Uh, and when this book is done, you would turn this in and, and get a new one. So that's for writing and reading. For math, uh, some students brought home this whole book. Uh, I am riding my bicycle, so I'm not going to bring home my whole book. I'm just going to take out pages 1, 3, and 5. Now, 5 and 3 and 1, this is from the book that says Homework and Remembering. This is the book that can go home. There's another book that looks almost identical. The, the other book should stay here. That's a book we work on in school. So that's math. So I'm going to put this, you know, if I were a student, I would put this here next to reading. Uh, I might even, <laughs> students, as you noticed, 
It's a little bit smaller than the reading sheet, so you can see everything in there. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Some students put there, for California changes, we started in on a, a bird, <laughs> bird, bird bingo. So what we did was we walked out together, and this, this is the, the class sheets, and, and again, some students glued it in here, which is fine. Uh, what we did was we looked for birds drinking floral nectar, hanging out with another bird, a bird that's brightly colored, a bird with two or other birds. That, this is something we saw a lot of um, out on Ocean View Field over there. Uh, mm. So, yep, yeah, that's something we're going to be doing this week. Uh, oh, yeah, a, a bird that, this is a bird that's, uh, this is a little scary. What was the scary one? Uh, a bird, oh, catching its prey. Uh, I haven't seen that. Um, but some students saw a bird trying to get a worm. So I guess that counts as its prey. Uh, all right, so those are the, yeah, those are the subjects for this week. Uh, parents, if you, if you wish, uh, they, you can always look here uh, on our website. So that's our home, this is our home page. And under work and projects, uh, what I do is I take all of this information here and I put it uh, here uh, in case students forget this at school or they forget to write something down. It's all there. All right, so those are the sorts of things uh, I look forward to explaining on uh, Open House uh, this Thursday. Hope you're all doing well. Mm, happy uh, bird watching. <laughs> and uh, until next time, all right, aloha, au revoir.